Eight more COVID-19 related deaths reported tonight in Kansas City, Missouri, along with more than 200 positive cases. It comes after the Missouri Department of Health reported a major spike in the state's death toll today with more than 200 new deaths. Now that large number is because of a backlog of cases reported during the health department's check of death certificates dating all the way back to August. Moderna's vaccine is next to be considered for emergency use authorization in the U.S. An advisory panel to the FDA confirms the vaccine's efficacy is at 94.5%. The vaccine will be key in more rural areas because it doesn't need to be kept as cold as the Pfizer vaccine. In Lawrence, you will be able to stay in your car to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Part of the parking lot out at Lawrence Memorial Hospital is now reserved for a drive through vaccination clinic. Once the shots arrive at Douglas County, health care workers can drive up to get their vaccines. Workers say the drive through style is meant to keep people safe. We want to make sure that everyone continues to maintain social distance. Just because a vaccine is here does not mean that stops the spread of the, the virus. Lawrence Memorial staff expect their vaccines to arrive in the next couple of days. The Missouri Health Department says it's worried about vaccine disinformation, so next week it'll start running commercials to promote the vaccinations. Missouri has already a website to with information to dispel vaccine rumors. There are a lot of rumors out there. We want to fight those with the facts. So we would encourage people to go to this website to get the facts and make an informed decision before they decide whether or not to get vaccinated for themselves. Missouri's vaccine information website is right here on your screen. It's covidvaccine.mo.gov. President Trump will get a COVID-19 vaccine, but he won't be one of the first. Um, and he will receive the vaccine as soon as his medical team determines it's best. But his priority is frontline workers, those in long term care facilities, and he wants to make sure that the vulnerable get uh, access first. The White House press secretary says that the president is still protected from the virus after coming down with it back in October. Meanwhile, sources say that Vice President Mike Pence will likely get vaccinated Friday.